What I'm going to talk about today, they'll probably make few enemies, but the truth is that somebody has to tell you. I have been in this business long enough and I've seen a lot, a lot of movement, whether it was moving from one country to the other, chasing the cheap needle, whether we worked through buying houses, sourcing companies, whether we sold through various channels, but one thing is for sure, globally, nobody expected what is going through right now. The truth has just come out in the last eight weeks, 10 weeks. There are thousands and thousands of companies who have zero direction where they're going. There is so much unrest going on in the industry. Everybody's grappling for some solution, some direction. And yet the people who were supposed to help you left you. As a vendor, you need to re-examine where do you stand. You stand right now at the brink of bankruptcies, at the brink of putting all your life savings online. The responsibility has been left to the vendors. So many of them are crying their heart out because all their life savings have disappeared. This is really the time to really reevaluate where do we want to go. You are a vendor and I'm going to speak to you only. At the end of the day, it is you who is stuck with the entire bill. I have seen people literally crying because they have no money to pay their loyal workers. People who really put their sweat and tears. People who made real sacrifices to put the clothes on our backs. I have never been so upset in my life listening to a lot of people in the 60s and 70s literally crying because they trusted their brands and customers for the payments. They were hand to mouth. Their hand is so close to the mouth that there is no room left. Come on. Is that what this industry is about? What happened to that win-win situation. As we have seen in the last 10 to 15 years, slowly, 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 all the responsibilities are being put on the shoulders of the vendors. The vendor is responsible. If the goods are late, if the quality is bad, if the product is not approved in a faster way, all you vendors, you have the talent to design and develop and produce the products because you're doing three quarters of it. Why are you not taking that rain and going straight to the retailer? This is the line. If you like something, buy it. But take over the responsibility of developing the product. All of us are waiting for the brands and retailers to develop what they think. And what are they doing? They are looking at what other retailers and other brands and other companies are doing. Hey, we're in the age of internet. What is it that they can find that you can't find? You're sitting where the fabrics are developed, where the trims are developed. You have the access. I get very upset when I see somebody tell somebody, you've got to buy this technology. Why? Because my designers like it. Well, tough. Your designers are not making patterns. Why am I going to invest in a technology that is going to add zero value to me? Because your designers are really only going to look at what the garment is going to look like. And the fit is developed by you. If you still have to make two to three fit samples, where is that technology going to add value to you as a vendor? That we have the tail wagging the dog. You can't have that. You don't have only one customer that you work with. I should be the one following your instructions. Then listen to me because I don't have to cater to you only. I have to cater to 20 other companies. Let's work differently. Going forward, if anybody thinks we are going to go back to what we were doing prior to COVID-19, you're a dreamer. Go face the reality. The reality is there is going to be a new world out there. More products in more styles in smaller quantities are the only way forward. We've already seen that. Nobody thought such big icons will go under. 
that is just the start. Anybody who was not willing to change, just beware. If your brand or retailer customer is asking you to do certain things without any value added and you stay put with your mouth closed, then you deserve to go under along with them. And I'll tell you, at least 40% of the companies at the vendor level will go out of business. You add value, but you really need to look at what is good for you. Stop listening to people who have taken you to this stage today.